Alright, so in this video, we'll be talking about integration by parts. So we'll be trying to solve, uh, we'll try to first to discuss the concept of integration by parts. How, uh, what is the general, general formula for integration by parts and we will try to solve some problems, okay? So basically, integration by parts is done or is applied when your um, integral is consists of two transcendental functions, no? So let's just write that one here, okay? integration by parts no so you have the criteria no? or the requirements so that you could apply integration by parts so first uh, the first criteria is your function so you have the integral no? integral contains contains two transcendental functions so when we say two the tra transcendental functions so those tra the two tra transcendental functions must be um, somewhat um, distinct from each other for example it could be a trigonometric function and algebraic uh, function a, a hyperbolic function and a trigonometric function a logarithmic uh, exponential so the integral must contain any two of those transcendent transcendental functions so that is the one of the uh, criteria no so the next one the one of the after knowing that uh, after knowing that those uh, two function must be are uh, two uh, transcendental functions so you must be also able to know no so um has uh, just say has a has a distinct no distinct um integral uh, uh has no but we will not use the integ uh, the term integral but anti uh, derivative and anti derivative so, derivative and anti-derivative so the two functions uh, must be uh, you must be uh, you must be able to um, find the derivative of that one and also if it is required to be integrated you could be or you could also have a and uh, a anti-derivative of those two functions okay so Going back to differential calculus, no, or to into differentiation. So we have here the formula, no. So we have here this one, no. The formula d u v. So the differential of two functions, no. So the product of two functions. This this is equal to u d v plus v d u, no. So that is how we are going to um, get the, the differential of this uh, function, no? the derivative of a product of two functions. So if you are going to integrate no? each, each term, so we could have here u v is equal to the integral of u dv plus v integral of v du. No? Now, if you are going to solve for the integral, no? we have that one in another color. No? The integral of u dv, so we just put this v du to the other equations, so we have uv minus integral of v du. Okay? And this is now the formula for, okay. so this is now our formula for integration. by parts okay so as a as given by the formula so we must be able to know what is our u no? what is our v and from the two 
functions, we need to get the derivative of our u and the integral of our v. Okay? So, we will uh, use this formula in a example no? so that we could understand the concept. No? Okay? So, we have here, we need to find, let me have here the yellow, no? the integral of v, uh, no, not v, x sine 2x dx. Okay. So, as you can see, this integral is consists of two transcendental functions. So, therefore, we need to determine here what is our u and what is our v, no? Or dv. So, the very first thing to do is in choosing what is u and what is dv, we must see to it that if we are going to have our u, our u, if it is um, uh, being uh, differentiated, it must terminate. So, what do you mean by terminate? It, it will not result to another function which, which will be also um, a derivative of, of itself, no? Or add another derivative. So, it, 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 it should be uh, simpler enough or it should be a, uh, um, a function or the, the u must be uh, having a uh, derivative that could terminate while our dv must be a uh, function with which you could integrate and the integral also must terminate or will not uh, be leading to uh, somewhat raising the degree of that function okay for this one we, uh, let's just say we will use u, no? I uh, will use x as our u. So u is equals to x. So our du will just be equal to the x. Okay. So that is, as you can see, our derivative has terminated, no? So the x here did not, uh, the the derivative of our x did not become other function in which it has higher degree or it became a, a more complicated function. So that is what we mean by the derivative must terminate. Now we have dv. So our dv is the integral to the remaining function sine 2x dx. So as we all know, the derivative of sine is negative cosine. Then we need to have 2 for our 2x. So we will have negative 1 half cosine 2x so cosine 2x now we will use the formula let's have that one in blue color no? so you have integral of x sine 2x dx so we have so our, our formula is the integral of v uh, u dv u dv is equal to u times v minus integral of v du. So our u is x, so x, our dv is sine to x dx, so sine to x dx. So we will have here u, so u is x times our v, which is negative one half cosine to x, then minus the integral of v so our v is again negative one half cosine two x du which is equal to dx. Okay, then we'll just simplify this one. So we have negative x. Ah no, negative one half. So we have negative one half x cosine two x plus one half integral of cosine 2x dx okay now what is the integral of cosine 2x so to continue the solution so we will have here another um, space no so we have negative one half cosine uh, x sine 2x plus one half so the integral of cosine 2x is that is 1 half sine 2x okay uh, plus c no I, let's just check first here so this is not 
Okay, so we have made a mistake here in this one. No? So this, that is not, uh, this is not sine but cosine. No? Okay. okay. So just correct that one. So this is cosine. Okay. Then continuing, so we have 1 half, negative 1 half, x cosine to x plus 1 fourth sine to x plus c. And this is now our answer. Okay? So, I hope you understand something in this video. So, there are also videos, no? Uh, which uh, shows example of this one. So, we're posting more of that kind of videos, no? Which, so, uh, which is about the uh, uh, solving um, different integrals which, ca which can be solved using integration by parts. Okay? So I hope you understand something in this video and as always, enjoy learning.